cool. So we've got our own footage in here. We've got our own custom level and we've tweaked the green screen a little bit. Now let's look at just changing the colors of this to situate it in the scene a little bit better. And something you might want to start with is uh, OCIO color conversions. So depending on how you're inputting your media, it might come in uh, in a certain color space. And what we want to use is something called OCIO color conversion passes. Um, so if you're using a Azure or Blackmagic input, the chances are it's coming in in a color space called Rec 709. Unreal Engine uh, uses a color space called Linear. And then usually when you're going out to a monitor, you want to go out to sRGB. So what I've tried to do here is include some of these, include, include some of these color space uh, conversion files for you. So you can quite quickly just set this up. So you can go to content, composure and go OCIO. We have this OCIO config already set up for you. And what it has is these three, Rec 709, sRGB and linear. And this is all part of the uh, file structure that we've got here. Uh, and this should all be hooked up. This should all be hooked up and ready to go for you. So uh, these are the more common ones that you would use, but you can also add more and you can select from this list. And you can also go to the OCIO website to download even more uh, configs. This has more, this one has more LUTs to choose from, uh, but the new default is a good default. So what you'd usually do is go to your media plate. You want this to be converted from its, from its original color space to linear on the way in. So as a transform pass, uh, we can enable this one. And uh, instead of compositing element material pass here, this wants to be open color IO pass. Now we can twirl this down, select our config. We can go from we can go from uh, Rec 709 to linear, and this is going to look uh, pretty pretty extreme in this case because uh, this is actually probably more like sRGB uh, because this this isn't actually Rec 709 footage coming in. This is pre-recorded footage. Uh, I tend to not do a color space conversion with. Uh, sRGB footage coming in, but just to show you what you might do with a Blackmagic or Azure input. For the whole comp here, you want to do another transform pass and do another OCIO conversion. Pick your same config file and go from linear to sRGB. So we can see that the cat is now converted back to what is looking kind of correct for it but our scene is not really looking the same as the viewport here. So we, we don't want to just be shifting the goalposts. We want to have this looking exactly like this. So what you can do is go uh, from this lit here, you can go OCIO display and you can display this in viewport as well. And we can do the same conversion from linear to sRGB and that combination might work better for you. So that's the essential that's the essential breakdown. It might not look exactly as yours is going to look because you're going to have different conversions and inputs and outputs. But in, in general, you want your media plate to come in and have this transform pass, taking it from the camera's color space to linear, which is Unreal's working space. And then from here, you want to go another transform pass where it goes from linear, which is Unreal's working space, out to your monitor's working space. So it could be different for different use cases, but in general, that's the idea with OCIO conversion. If you want to get your colors absolutely bang on, that's sort of how you would do it.